All right, if you've been using Inventory Lab to list your inventory into Amazon, this video is for you. We're gonna show you how to convert that data and paste it into the tracking spreadsheet fairly easily. So the nice part with Inventory Lab is they let you export all of your old prior batches in a simple report, which looks something like this. Now this data is not exactly in the right format to be transferred properly into the tracking spreadsheet. No worries, that's what this Inventory Lab Converter 2.0 is for. So we're simply gonna go in, and if you can have multiple batches in one sheet, that's fine. If you're gonna paste other data underneath this, make sure you that it's fine to do it that way. You can do multiple batches at once. Just make sure you only have the headers one time. What we're gonna do from there is simply select everything, copy that data, and if it'll copy, we're gonna paste this over into the Inventory Lab Converter into the Input tab. You can simply grab here and paste that data. Now this data is here, and again, we've got the, the data in a little bit of a different structure or order than we want for our tracking spreadsheet, but if you come over here, all the data has now been converted. The date format matches up perfectly, and most importantly, we've got our SKUs, which is what everything feeds off of, or our M SKU. We've got the source as you've inputted it into Inventory Lab and we've got our inventory costs. Now a couple notes, date code is blank, that's fine. We don't use that anymore. That's from an older iteration of the tracking spreadsheet but it's still there just to keep the structure the same. The ASIN, it looks like Inventory Lab exports some of the ASINs as strings or text which is why they have the quote marks around some of them. Not a big deal. We don't feed off of this at all. It's just there if you wanna go back and look up some of your old inventory. Everything else should be in order including the date which is nice. Your inbound shipping, this would be your total ship costs. If you had, let's say, two units of a certain item, this would be the ship cost per item. Don't worry about that. If you do wanna do the math and Inventory Lab has tracked your inbound shipping costs, you can add those here, simply type them into uh, both columns as applicable, but don't worry about it. All of the sh inbound shipping costs are already tracked through your sales reports from Amazon, so they're already gonna find their way into the income statement. The only piece that'll be missing is um, if you're trying to look at your source metrics and see how much you paid, for example, to send all your books uh, from this fictitious Springfield library sale. So everything here is in place. You don't wanna copy everything when we go back over to the tracking spreadsheet. We're gonna copy everything except the headers. That's why they're in blue. So scroll down, hold shift, and then click, and you'll grab everything, and then command or control C to copy it. Now, when we come over to the tracking spreadsheet, we're gonna to go to the listing data tab, which is the first one that shows up. We're gonna go find some empty cells. So the easiest way to do that is to click in this first column here in the M SKU column, just click anywhere, then hold commands on a Mac or control on a Windows, and then the down arrow. It'll take you to the bottom of your data. You can go here, and now we're gonna paste into this cell. Now right click, and this is very important, it, the other sheet that we just pulled from has a lot of formulas in it. We wanna dump the formulas so that this works perfectly. So we're gonna say paste special. I'm on a Mac, it'll look a little different on a PC. We're gonna say values only, and then paste. Now when we've pasted, we just get a regular date code that's perfect there rather than some sort of formula here which will not look pretty when you go to do your data. So that's it. Don't forget to say update data on your tracking spreadsheet to run the macros, but that is how to convert your data simply and effectively. And if you do need to change anything like a source, for example, if you entered it wrong, or you wanna match what you have in the spreadsheet or change some of your costs, not a big deal. You can simply change them right within the spreadsheet here, then click update data once more. Thanks for watching.